Hey everyone, my name is Lewis and I'm the strength and conditioning coach for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm back this week for the second part of our six week series called Get Moving. The goal of the series is to help a young aspiring athlete stay active, stay fit, while we're all at home trying to stay safe. This week we're going to touch on the principle of strength. I'm going to show you a couple of movements that I think can help you stay strong while we're all at home. These are fundamental exercises that can build strength in primary muscle groups to help improve performance. Let's take a look at what you need for today's movements. You'll need a towel, a chair or a bench, and some floor space. Our first exercise will be a seated towel row to press. You want to make sure you're seated with good posture. Your shoulders back and your ribs down. You're going to grab the towel with both hands and your palms facing downward. As you're pulling on the towel holding an isometric contraction, you're going to row the towel in beneath your chest for a 3 second count. When you reach your chest, you're going to press it out for another 3 second count, making sure that you're continuing to pull on the towel. During an isometric contraction, your muscles are not lengthening or shortening. They are being held at a constant length. In this case, because you are pulling on the towel, you will feel it more in your shoulders and in your back. Each row and press is one repetition. You're going to perform this movement eight times for four sets, resting two minutes between each set. Our second exercise is a glute bridge to walk out. For our second movement, you're going to lay with your back on the ground, your knees bent, and your feet flat. You're going to rise up into a bridge position and slowly begin to march out, keeping your hips nice and stable as you move. Try and use your glutes rather than your lower back to hold that bridge position. When you reach full hip extension, you want to make sure that your back side is not touching the ground. As you return, you want to try to maintain a straight line from your belly button to your knees without letting your hips sag to the ground. You will feel your hamstrings working as your heels slowly walk away and back towards your hips. One full walk out and in is one repetition. You're going to complete 10 repetitions four times, resting two minutes between each set. Our third and final exercise is a single leg squat to bench, lowering with one and standing with two. You're going to begin in a standing position with your backside to a chair or bench. Here, the goal is to feel it in your backside rather than your quad and knee. With your hands together, you're going to press your arms out while simultaneously lifting your knee to your chest. From there, you're going to lower yourself controllably with a three second count until you're sitting on your bench. Be sure to keep your weight on your heel and your knee behind your toe as you lower towards the bench. Then you're going to put the other foot on the ground and stand up. You're going to do four sets with 10 repetitions on each side, resting two minutes between each set. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. If you missed last week's episode, you can always go back to Facebook or Instagram TV and take a look. You can always use last week's drill as a warm up to this week's movements. As always, stay safe, follow the rules, and I look forward to seeing your videos. Next week, we'll touch base on ways that we can develop speed indoors. Take care.